Today we're eating at some of the sketchiest restaurants in Los Angeles for 24 hours. I figured let's start this video off at a one star donut spot. I mean, if the name doesn't scare you off, maybe the donuts will. Let's go check it out. So it looks like they actually have real food here too. We can get an egg sandwich, egg bagel. Might be good, who knows? Let's find out. Hey there. Hello. How are you? Yes, yes, we want to get, so oh my God, stuff. you guys have a lot of food here. Check this out. Not only do they have the classic, you know, icing with the sprinkles, they have a glazer with sprinkles. Oh, we gotta get one of those. You have more? Don't tell oh that to me. Oh my god. Wow. This is hard. I'm getting confused here. I can't All right. pick. You got a coin? Can I use one quarter? Oh, Make it random? Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. This is the one we're gonna get. Oh, oh it didn't work. Throw it, it. Oh. throw it. Okay, which one? This one's chicken. Oh, let's do chicken salad. Number 27 and number 9. Oh, actually, I want number 40. Wait, wait, wait. This is hard work, guys. When there's 35 freaking choices here, and then we want to get one of them donuts. You want some of that too? Okay. Yes, one donut, please. I want this, the Just glazed sprinkle on the top. So this is exciting, sometimes. dude. I don't know why. This is one star donuts. Let's see how their donuts really are. I wouldn't say one star, maybe three. Okay, you guys, so one star donut. So far, honestly, donut wasn't that bad. I just go playing on a little skit here. Anyways, they had real food here. Let's what take the, a look. What the? That looks like it's like came right out of a supermarket. But honestly, it's a croissant. Like, that's fresh bread, if anything, hopefully. Chicken salad sandwich. She said mine was cold, it's hot. I'm confused. I like how oily. Oh, big time oil. Now for mine, let's see what we're working with here. Pretty basic if you get down to it. It's just egg, bacon, and cheese. I wish it would have been a different cheese, but you know what, American craft cheese ain't bad. The one thing that I was worried about was the bagel was not gonna be toasted. It was just gonna be like a dry, hard bagel, but this one is actually toasted. The oiliness of it is gonna soak into the bread, make it a little bit better. Let's try them. I never had a bagel sandwich like this, but that's good. Mine's pretty much a really fluffy croissant. Not mm. really flaky, but it has like a tuna. It's pretty much the same consistency as tuna, but it's a chicken salad. Little tomato, little lettuce, nothing to brag about. What was the price? Cheap. This one, super good. They butter up the bagel. Mm -hmm. They put it down there. They let it sizzle. They let it get tasty, almost like a grilled cheese with egg and bacon slipped into the mix. It's very delicious. Perfect little on-the-go meal. Came out quick. This you cannot go wrong with in the morning. Mine feels healthier. Okay, so you got pepper on the lettuce. I hope that's pepper on the a bunch of bugs. Let me know. Wow, that's freaking delicious. You get like a little bit of a sweetness from the croissant mixed into the tuna, the saltiness of the tuna. Honestly, I could say that both of these meals are probably better than going to McDonald's and getting a McMuffin. So I'm gonna have to say one star donut. It's more like five star. No, I'd give them some 3.9 star. Anyways, if this is how the morning's starting, I wonder what lunch and dinner is gonna take like. It's gonna be a good day. Lastly, I gotta try this cappuccino here, okay? Cause some people could really ruin a cappuccino. It's hard, but they can do it. Oh, that's the sweetest. Tastes like hot chocolate. Damn, that's good. Oh crap, you guys. All right, lunch is here. We have a spot and honestly, I don't know. This is the type of place you walk into and you gotta crawl out because you're in so much pain. This place looks sketch with all the graffiti on it. It's broken rundown, window. broken windows. They got boarded up doors. Look, I'm not expecting much, but I'm hoping for the best. Come on. Hey, this guy's got a customer though. Have you eaten here before? I don't know oh. where I'm going. Oh. Where I'm going. Yeah, I'll let you know if it's any good. No, what's it? The black guy from Africa. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm from Mexico. You don't know him? No, no, sorry. I don't know if we stepped into little f land or what kind of sandwiches are these, man? They're like the same thing we just had in Nashville. Like that Vietnamese. Box. I have no idea, but it looks like they might live here, cook here, I mean, clean here. I don't know if they're making their bread fresh or... Hey there, how are you? I'm gonna get number eight and I'm gonna get number 14. You guys accept credit cards here? Oh, got it, got it. Have you eaten this stuff before? Uh, yeah. What kind of food is this? It's a bit of oh, okay, that's what I thought. What are these? Do you know? No, I think it's dessert. It's what? She doesn't I can't know. Ask <laughs> 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 okay, that's fine. We'll get one of these too. What is this? Uh, oh, you put it inside? Oh, okay. Oh. okay. That's interesting. It's a Vietnamese restaurant, but they got a lot going on for Chinese New Year over here. Okay, so she said this was coconut right here. Didn't say what this is. No, she said dunk it. Yeah, she said dip. No, she said this, this. I guess it's technically the same either way you do well, it. Well, no, because there's all this liquid in there. Should we try the liquid? Yeah, let, we're gonna try the juice of whatever is in here. I mean, it definitely looks sick. Ooh, ooh, it's like green tea. Yeah, that's good. It's like honey, ginseng. I pour this in here? Okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna pour this coconut into here. Oh, wow, look how thick that is. Oh. 
We're not gonna let anything go to waste. She said everything. So now we got this thing going on here. Let's try this. We mix it. Just grab it. I don't know why my mouth is watering, oh boy. All right, here we go. Oh my God, tell me why that looks like someone's It's like a rice pudding thing. All right, I'll go for it. You don't want to do it at the same time? <laughs> eat that one, eat that one, do that, do that one. All right, Jake's balls compared to mine. It's a rice ball, and then the coconut is very sweet compared to like the nice subtle honey ginseng liquid underneath. Mm. Very interesting combination. I have dough. <laughs> yeah, that was a big bite. I would have puked. Yeah, the rice pudding are thick, but it's ricey. It's good flavor. Yeah, it's good, good taste. I can't complain about that at all. I just was not expecting that. I was not expecting that either. I kind of like the juice when it's mixed together. See, the way I tried it was just pure coconut cream. It was interesting. Okay, so we ordered something out of our normal comfort zone here. This is the sardine banh mi sandwich. Wow. This is like Subway meets Vietnam. Oh. Actually, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know, you know. Break it in half. The sardines and all, but. Is that, I thought that was an eyeball. No, that's a straight up sardine. And it's hot, okay. But like, this is reminds me of like being in Vietnam where things are put on the table, at least here that's made for you, but it's all like. They don't like take apart the stem. Yeah, we're not getting the like... stem. We're getting things as is here. I'd be surprised if it's even washed, to be honest. But yeah. hey, I've eaten weirder, so let's go at it. That's oh my really God. good, man. Sardines, everyone is so scared of them. I think people are scared of them when they're like, when they're just like cold. When it's warm oh like God. this, it tastes really good. Like it's a cooked And they put like a red sauce on it. It has tomatoes, cucumber, cilantro, peppers on there. It tastes fresh. The bread, wow. it tastes like Subway quality. Like no, 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 it tastes good. This is like a French roll right here. Like this thing is baked in the back. It's got a solid little like crunch down mm. when you bite into it, but at the same time still being enough to hold this together without it falling apart. It's not flimsy, not bad at all. Like they definitely are making this bread fresh or at least ordering it fresh. This is good. I agree with them. And we thought that other banh mi was good. I think this is like legit banh mi. I mean, the people don't even speak English. Mm -mm. That's good stuff. That's like straight out of Vietnam. Yeah, it's a little rundown on the outside, a little beat up and a little sketchy, like scary, but man, this is how you find the best and that's why we do this series, because we find the best food doing this series that we would never find. And I challenge you guys to try this too. Go to a sketchy spot and just try it out. You might find that your favorite new spot. So this next one is bacon wrapped shrimp, okay? Damn, this bread is incredible. The bread is still warm, it's fresh. Oh, oh my God. God. This thing looks incredible. Let's break it in half. Oh, oh my God. God. Bacon. It's not bacon wrapped, it's bacon filled. Let's try this. Straight from Vietnam. Bacon's phenomenal. Whatever they're putting on that bacon, phenomenal. The bacon is insane. Wow. It literally doesn't need anything, but I think it would kind of smack if I had some kind of sauce to drizzle mm -hmm. on it. You know, like an aioli or some shit. Granted, these sandwiches are seven, eight bucks. Not a bad deal. The bacon makes up for it, but I literally had one shrimp on my half. Jake had two little ones. So three pieces of shrimp this whole sandwich. But damn, it's good. That's unbelievable. We're not done yet. We still got dinner. Let's find something else that's sketchy and delicious. Oh my God. Come Let's on. Go. All right, guys. So we're on our way right now to find dinner spot. And there's a freaking police activity going on. We're checking it out. Full on helicopter circling the area. Huh? Oh, there's police tape up here. Person. Just keep going straight. Look, 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 look. Oh shit, copper's rolling out. Hard. He's trying to hide shit. Look, he's on the way. Shit, look, he's going on the way. Don't our way, guy. I think activity is what I see. Oh, she's pointing at us. Oh, go, go. Hard as it moves. <laughs> Alright, let's go find dinner. Alrighty folks, it's dinner time and this little spot literally makes me feel like we're back in Mexico. This looks, I don't know. I mean, it says fresh food always, so let's hope. Most little Mexican hidden gems like this, they never stirred me wrong in the past. Let's hope it's delicious. Oh God, this is, might be one of those places you need to speak Espanol. Hey friend. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. You like Messi? Messi or Ronaldo? Messi! Yeah! <laughs> hey there. Hola. Un chile verde, por favor. And then um, the hard shell tacos. Un asada, un tripa. You said this one? Yeah. Un cabeza, por favor. Para comer aquí o para llevar? Uh, para aquí. Tell me where I'm sitting. I sit right here. Why there? Because it's un gordita and you're fat as f. God. <laughs> Ay, Dios.
was me. <laughs> what has been going on with today? We've literally seen street after street blocked off with police, ambulance, fire trucks. Like, I'm actually a little scared being back in California. I will say we are filming in dangerously areas. Yeah. But I also will say, I'll see a cop car and then I'll see a $300,000 Lamborghini on the same street. So I it's mean... like... What is that telling you? Though? Diversity. The same thing like in Malibu. You've got Nobu for the rich and across the street you got McDonald's. Diversity. Come on. Diversity. Am McDonald's is for the rich too. Our order just came. Jake's gonna grab it. Let's see his reaction. Una salsita para los tacos, muchachos. Roja, verde. Uh, verde. verde. And uh, limones. Limones? Yes. It's a limon. Huh? How's it look? Hey, how was it? Was the burrito good? Delicious. Delicious. You ate it in like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. Give me food. Adios. Going? Take care. You as well, my friend. He said, God bless us. God bless him. That's why I love Latin people. They have the best hearts, best souls, greatest personalities. Honestly, that's why I am one. <laughs> it explains things. I'm gonna be honest here, okay? Yours looks like an authentic Latin dish. Mine, on the other hand, looks like a whitewashed version of tacos. But I mean, this place itself, the people working here are not giving that vibe to me at all. So I'm actually excited to dig into this. It's just presented really nice. I think that's why it gives it whitewashed. Yeah. You know, because usually when you go to Mexican spots, it's just kind of thrown together, but yeah. it's dank. Ooh, that's a oh big old tortilla. Yeah. About as big as your head. I'm gonna start with a little carne asada just to test their hard tacos here. Jake's gonna just grab a tortilla and go in. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Oh my god. Did you hear that crunch when I bit into it? This ain't your run of the mill. This is like they just deep fried a tortilla back there and made it. Authentic pinto beans. Oh, Nashville does not have good Mexican food, so I'm in awe right now. I haven't had, like, you've been in LA be more than I have in the past few months, and I haven't had good Mexican, like, really good Mexican food since moving to Nashville, so it's about about six months. Wow. This wow. salsa verde is, like, super lemony. And that's how we like it. Oh, that's melting in your mouth. What meat is that? Carne asada? Like chicken. Just that's chicken. chicken? Yeah, it's just chicken. How is it so juicy? That's delicious. This taco is phenomenal. The carne asada itself is juicy, it's tasty, it's thick, it's fat, it's delicious, man. And the crunch of this flour shell really gets me going in ways I never thought I'd be going. So we started this series in Nashville and we have been surprised by some of them being really tasty. But this, the meals that we've had today, blow it out of the water. Like this is an insane, insane meal. I almost wanted it to be bad just to give some kind of difference in this video, but this is so oh my God. freaking good. Good lord. Mm. So the next one I'm gonna go here is cabeza, which some people say to me, I am cuckoo in the cabeza, which means I'm crazy in the head. Let's try it. Damn, I just want you to taste how, how good their meat is. That's brain. Like, how can brain be that tasty? All I'm saying, this is the place I tell my kids about. And I didn't even got kids. I'm gonna wait till I'm 40 and then tell them. This is the place that I'm gonna ask if you want a franchise. This is the place I'm gonna ask them if they wanna move to Nashville. They just make a billion dollar company out there. Last one I got here is the guts. Here goes nothing. It takes guts to try guts. Mm. It's very fatty in texture, but boy is it juicy. I thought it literally looked like bacon bits when I took a bite of it. That's got flavor like I can't even compare. This is good stuff, really phenomenal. The fatter it is, the juicier, the more flavor it has. Yeah, this is just like booties. Mm -hmm. I said it. That's true. I think we've said all we needed to say about this place. I'm actually curious about the reviews here and what people are rating this place. Let's look at that. Let's check it out real quick. Guess how many? I mean, just off the taste, I want to say a four star. Three star. No way. We need to go in there and we need to yelp them. We're gonna yelp them. I mean, they either did something right tonight or we've just been so accustomed to Nashville Mexican food that this is blowing us out of the water. That could be a two. Cause like we've, we've been trying to find a good Mexican spot out there. We've been testing and testing. I think out of the three tacos I had the best one though was the carne asada, just the classic mm. meat. Let's get out of here. Boy, oh boy, you guys. Like, I don't know. Was this place so delicious just because we're so accustomed to Nashville's decent Mexican scene? I don't know. I can't tell because this place has had my mouth watering. I'm thinking about ordering something else to go. Anyways, that wraps up this video, guys. We survived 24 hours eating some of the sketchiest restaurants here in my city. Do you guys want another one in LA? Because there is tons of sketchy spots. Hit the comments. Hit the like. Pick up the merch. BrandonTaylor.com. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous.